No matter how seasoned a chef you are, there are always new ingredients and recipes to get fired up about. Right, the most amazing fish and chips, which is my go-to comfort food, served with incredible fries. This is our winning fish. It's a beautiful turbot. For me, fish and chips screams cod. Highly sustainable, delicious. Beautiful fillet of turbot. Now you can see here the thickness in the flesh. This is really important if we're going to keep all that moisture and juiciness inside our fish. But the secret is in the batter. In here, I've got flour and rice flour, some honey. This is a beer batter. Double zero flour, eggs and beer. And then vodka. Then finally, I'm going to add the beer. It sort of makes it lighter, crispier, and it's an amazing flavour. Mix everything together. Again, it's important to keep the bubbles. The secret is to make that batter the night before. The more you can let it rest, it becomes so crispy. Now I need to fill the siphon. Okay, you can see these lumps going in. Those lumps are going to give us really wonderful little nuggets of crisp batter. Lightly season your fish. Too wet a fish can destroy the batter. So I like to season my fish first with salt. That extracts the moisture from the fish, which keeps the batter even more crispy. The batter, just empty this out into the bowl. You can see all the bubbles. Then from there, just brush off that seasoning and just pad down the fish. That way it stays nice and firm. The reason for coating the fish in seasoned flour is to make sure that the batter sticks, otherwise... Into the flour and then nicely rolled. Make sure you get the ends done. Dredge the fish in the flour in order to make sure the batter sticks. Really important. And then next... Into the batter. Into the batter. Make sure you dust off any excess flour. Otherwise, you get these white clumps of flour underneath the batter. Into the batter. Let it sink. I like top and tailing my fish. I trim the top, trim the base. I've got an even piece of fish. If it's cut evenly, it's going to cook evenly. You know the temperature. We're looking for 220. And then straight into the oil. Oil comes up to 300. It takes about six to seven minutes to cook beautifully. But here's the secret. Keep that fish coated. This is where it gets messy but exciting. Lift up your fish. And then straight into the oil. And then in to the fryer and just sort of taunt it first and just let it lay away from you. Shake the pan gently. That starts to cover the top. Just taking a spatula and drizzling that batter. Look at that. It's beautiful, golden brown. Now, take that out, shake it well, let that sit. They're like these perfect parcels, and literally, let that sit there. On top of the fish, and you're going to get these wonderful shards of really light, crisp batter. Now, as it's piping hot, you salt and just lightly season the top. And what happens to the fish now, it just gets even crispier. But the batter seasoned underneath and on top, and that's really important. This batter is so crispy. It looks fantastic. Right, fries. These are Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm basically just peeled, not washed, because I want the starch to get really nice and crispy. My test revealed the Aaron Victory is the best variety for making chips. Place them in a bowl of water. I start them off at a very low temperature in a way that I blanch them. I have lightly salted water and cook them on simmering. And that is literally in the oil first for two minutes at 3.30. In. The first frying. The oil's set to 130 degrees centigrade. The blanch for two minutes at 3.30. Take them out, let them rest. Drain it back on the cake rack and repeat the process again. Crank up the heat, go from 320 to 385. Great. Now the temperature's risen, fries back in. This is the third and final stage for our chips. Second time cooking, and this time it's getting them really nice and crispy. Three minutes at 190 degrees centigrade. Okay, these chips are now ready. Fries are done. Shake. You can hear how crisp they are. Out onto a tray, drain them really well. Lightly rub off the excess fat. Fresh parsley on top, a touch of paprika, and then a touch of salt and pepper. And then from there, just roll them around. You can hear how crisp they are. Now, I just want to have a look at the fish. Fish comes over. Hear how crunchy that is. Fries, place them there. How crispy they are. Beautifully done. That is perfect. And there we have fish and chips. Alan Gordon.